Students in fourth grade had each been assigned a state to study. This works out really well because the fourth grade has been making artist trading cards this entire year. And we have even traded our cards with other schools and many of the schools are from different states around the country. We are going to make a card today that represents the state that you have been assigned. This artist trading card is going to be inspired by the state you have been assigned as a fourth grader. So what we're going to do is create this into a postage stamp. So sometimes postage stamps can be square or they can be um, vertical or horizontal. I'm going to make my postage stamp or artist trading card um, vertical, straight up and down. And the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a border about a quarter inch all the way around my card. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm creating the edge of a postage stamp. And on a postage stamp um, you would separate the stamps so there's all these jagged edges. So I went about a quarter inch. You can certainly measure that with a ruler or you can just eyeball it like I just did. And then I'm going to take and draw half circles all the way around. And then in each of the curves, to make it look a little bit more like a stamp, what I'll do is just color that in with my black Sharpie. Now you are going to be assigned a state and what you're going to do is fill in your postage stamp with things representing your state. Now what I have noticed from postage stamps is that um, it's not necessarily cut and dry what can be added on a postage stamp. So for example, um, I could draw a monarch butterfly to represent Minnesota because that is our state butterfly. But you could also maybe represent our state with a sports figure or a team or maybe the um, landscape. I, there's lots of different things that can represent your state. So you're trying to think of symbols that can represent the state that you have been assigned. So I'm going to get started here with a monarch butterfly or two and add them on to represent my state, which I'm doing Minnesota. I have been working on my butterfly, my state representing um, symbol um, and I filled up my entire space except for the edge. I just want to show you another one that I did also representing Minnesota and here I have the cities, the Twin Cities in the background. I have a beautiful sunset. I have the cherry and the spoon which always reminds me of Minnesota. I have some fields but I ha also have a road um, coming through here. There's a river and of course some lakes because we're known as the 10,000 lakes and our state bear bird, the loon. So you can, if you choose to, add um, any medium to color in. And in this case I used watercolors. Um, for this one I'm probably going to use markers. I might use some colored pencils as well. What you're going to do is color in the inside of your stamp. The outside stays white because that's the way a stamp would look. These are some real stamps from the post office and I just wanted to point out that if you wanted an extra challenge you could do more than one stamp for a set. You can see these all have the same subject of flowers. Yours would have the same subject of your state but you could create many different kinds to go in your set. 